The United States Senate sends a sour message to corn farmers. They voted last week to put an end to the ethanol subsidy. News 10's Mike Grant reports the vote sent one more worry down on Wabash Valley farmers who are still struggling to make this year's crops work. Right now, farmers in the Wabash Valley are scrambling to try and beat the rain and harvest their wheat crop. But the vote last week by the U.S. Senate to end the ethanol subsidy is weighing on their minds. The uh, farm lobbying system that we've had, the, the strength in that for all these years has maybe lost a little bit of its clout. That clout helped drive up the value of cornfields in the Wabash Valley. Before ethanol took hold, corn was selling at $2 a bushel. These days, it's around $7 a bushel. really do see an impact of our prices have gone up because of ethanol. While there are a lot of other factors that have raised that price, ethanol has been a player. There's demand driven, and ethanol is, is a strong factor, but it's not the only demand driver for the price of corn. The ethanol subsidy may well expire at the end of the year. The industry, though, is expected to continue even though energy from corn may not have turned out to be the absolute best solution to the dependence on foreign oil. Is it a great thing? Absolutely. Is it going to be where we want it to be? Not at all. I think it's always going to be part of the solution to the energy needs of the country. Um, and and it, uh, it may become where it's, uh, it has to stand on its own. The impact that will have on the cornfields and farm income in the Wabash Valley is something that right now no one is predicting. In Knox County, I'm Mike Grant, News 10. Industry groups hope for a smaller credit that would kick in occasionally. They also want some of the $5 billion saved directed toward industry infrastructure.